Sheila. Oh, oh, Sheila. Hey, welcome to Akka's Daily Bread. It is so funny. Every time I hit start broadcast, a song pops in my head. And that is what you have the honor of hearing in the beginning of these broadcasts. <laughs> What's up? Good evening. Hello wonderful person. Uh, I am Christine Horn. I am your life and career coach and I'm a professional actress and this is Actors Daily Bread. Do this every single day. Today I'm talking about, I'm giving a book, um, a book recommendation because uh, I love to read and I believe that in order to be a well-rounded person, not just an actor, uh, there are some amazing books out here. I believe, um, personal development is huge. And I am a living testimony. My dog is making some weird sounds. I'm a willing test. I'm a living testimony that taking the time to do the work on yourself is, is, is crucial and can totally change your life. So I, the book I want to share today, um, has really helped made it make a huge impact on my life. And so this isn't just about you being an actor. If you are great, if you're not, this, this video will help you and this book will help you. Uh, so again, this is Actors Daily Bread. And what's up? I see you watching. Give me a thumbs up. Give me some hearts. Let me know you're here. Or let me know where you're watching from. Um, so the book I want to share today, I'm going to just share it. This is, it's by Louise Hay. And it's called You Can Heal Your Life. You can find this at the library. You can find this online. The I will warn you, the cover of this book has been printed several times. And uh, the cover has changed. I've seen multiple covers. And this was actually given to me as, uh, as a gift once. And then I lost it and bought it again. And I just love this book because... It's, it's just got some very colorful pages. And as you can see, well, whenever I'm reading a book, there's tons of tabs. But the reason why I'm sharing this book with you today um, is because a lot of times we are not living the life that we want to live. We don't have the career we want to have because of all this stuff happening inside us, all the stuff happening up here. And you may think, Christine, just tell me how to get some auditions and be, and be quiet. <laughs> um, but I, I want to share this because this book really made an impact on my life. I want to share just in case you haven't heard of um, Louise Hay. Louise Hay is is an is an author but her her amazing story if you want to google her is the fact that she healed herself from cancer just by changing her thoughts and if this is too woo woo for you we can you can skip to the next video but here's what i believe i believe of course that god exists and i be, i believe that even though that is true we have the control of our mind. We choose what thought we're going to think next. And when these negative thoughts come in, we have a choice. We have an option to flip the switch. And welcome if you're just joining. I'm sharing a book selection today. This is You Can Heal Your Life by Louise Hay. And I believe that if we can get more control over our thoughts, over our thoughts, we can live an amazing life. And so I meet tons of tons of people, and I can just speak to some of my past clients of women and some actors who there's a there's a block, and you don't know why there's a block. There's a block in your career. There's a block in your finances. There's a block in your love life. There's because there's a lot of unhealed wounds. And so if you feel that you have some unhealed wounds, this may be the book for you. And I wanted to share a quick thing though. I, I can say one of the, this book is just intense. This is one of those books that you just come to, you can just open, close your eyes and just, and just pick a page and it will speak to you, you know, in that moment. But I will, I'll be totally transparent with you. You know, I'm not, um, I'm not the closest, um, with my father and we've been working on that relationship for many years. Um, and this book helped me with forgiveness. 
forgiveness of him, forgiveness of myself. I think I have one, I think my most viewed video on YouTube is a video of, called How to Forgive Yourself. I think it has like six, six 7,000 views. And I realize it's because it's something that we all struggle with, whether, whatever you've been through. And if you've heard my story, if you've been to christinehorn.com, my website, you'll know that I've had some ups and downs and I've started over many times and that's my testimony. Um, and I just want to read this quick thing to you about forgiveness. It was an exercise because the book will share, will give you thoughts, things to think about, and then it'll give you an exercise to follow up with. And this was a letter. This is a practice I actually did. And it says, I forgive you for not being the way I wanted you to be. I forgive you and I set you free. That's an affirmation that I use and I did use to help heal relationships in my life. Because isn't that powerful? When we feel hurt, when we feel betrayed, when we feel someone has hurt us and then we know the forgiveness is for the forgiver, right? That's what we all have been taught. It really comes down to you not doing something the way I wanted or you not being the way I wanted you to be. And that hurt me and, you know, it affected me in some way. And having to release that. So that 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 moment of I forgive you for not being the way I wanted you to be. I forgive you and I set you free. And I, that was powerful. And I've even used this for myself. I, I've said that affirmation to me for expectations that I had for myself that I didn't achieve. Um, things that didn't pan out the way I wanted to for myself. I had to, I had to forgive that version of Christine and saying, I forgive you. You made a mistake or I forgive you. You had an error in judgment. I, I forgive you. And finding that freedom and finding that forgiveness for myself it has been powerful. So, again, you may or may not be in a place where you are doing personal development, but I will say this find the time, whether it's five minutes, whether it's an hour. This world is crazy, as we have heard craziness on Facebook Live. I mean, I can't even watch the news with all the stuff going on. I mean, I. It's just too much. So why not take five minutes? Why not take 30 minutes a day to invest in uplifting yourself and creating your own success, creating your life by design? You know, do your own mind control up here. And it starts with stuff like this. So this is the book I'm recommending, Louise Hay. She has a bunch of books, but you can heal your life. This book is powerful. It's, it's not a one, it's not a quick, I'm just gonna read it in a few days. It's not that kind of book. But if there's any blocks for you, if there are any blocks for you, I wanna highly recommend you read this book. Um, you can get it from the library, you can buy it. But this, to me, it's one of the books that you kind of, owning is, is helpful because, um, it's, it, as you can see, it's, you just want to highlight stuff. So I encourage you to do that. And uh, thank you for watching. And if you are an actor, come join us in the Actors Daily Bread Facebook community. Just type it in your search bar. And if you're not, I'm glad you're watching this. And whether it's this book or any book, take the time to program your own mind so that you can live your life by design. Have an amazing night. I'm Christine Horn. I'm your life and career coach. Good night.